Hello, everyone. Hello. So, I know I'm late to the party, but I figured people might want to hear what I think from a turbo standpoint. But today we're going to be talking about the gameplay update 7.35C, which was released February 21st, 2024. So, uh, we'll go through everything. So, this might be a long video, but uh, if you skip around, it should be in order so you can kind of figure out what I say about certain items. But. Let's go ahead and get right into this helm. Helm of Iron Will. Armor bonus decreased from 5 to 4. Eh. Kind of sucks for, like, armlet. But I don't see a, a big issue for the other items it's used in, I think. Unless I'm forgetting something. That's cool. Cost decrease is really good on Orma Venom for turbo. Because we don't really need to work into, like, Wraith Band type things. We can actually do this for fun. It's pretty cool uh evasion bonus increased yeah i knew about that because found out the hard way with a pa match obviously a uh, mega value spell lifesteal bonus for the voodoo well, voodoo mask spell lifesteal bonus against heroes and creeps increased from 10 plus 10 and 2 percent to plus 12 2.4 percent so that's pretty good but jesus holy math batman i ain't doing all that uh, Avatar magic resistance increased from 50 to 60. That's just a quality of life change, honestly, because this is already an item you need to buy in most games. So that's just better. It's just better now. Just, just all around. Uh, Bloodstone recipe change now requires a void stone instead of a recipe. Total cost unchanged now provides plus three mana regen because of the recipe going away. Huh. Ah. I mean, because of obtaining the void stone and because of that, but... That's that's pretty good. It's a necessity on certain heroes and and turbo, so that's like another little change, I guess. Um, total cost decreased from sixty eight twenty five to sixty six twenty five, due to orchid malevolence change, and that soul rend extra damage on hit decreased from sixty to fifty. Hmm. So nerf kind of probably still viable just because it's a really good item for. For, for any game, you really need to lock down and knock out someone quickly. And hopefully if your team cooperates, you can just cast that, melt someone, and then move on to the next at a, at a you know, at, at an advantageous, advantageous um, position. Because it's 5v4. Whatever. Getting too into it. My nerd is showing. But uh, Dagon, spell lifesteal bonus increased from plus 11, 12, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, to just 15 flat. Energy burst cooldown decreased from 35 to 27. Pretty good. Fucking dag on memes, I guess, are back. Fusel Blade and Habit now is a mana cost of 25. That's Garbo Trash. Recipe cost <laughs> increased from 400 to 800 on a Disperser. Total cost increased from 57 to 61. Suppress so no longer has an AoE, but it'll do it on you and the person you target. So. The cool thing about using a, using it on an enemy is it will slow them and give you speed. So it's actually pretty cool in that regard. But the AoE was really o OP. Like when you got Warlock on the enemy team, you can re remove like everything for your, like your whole team if you were stacked up in that slow. Remove that shit. Get the Fatal Bonds off. That shit was so cool, man. But I guess it was too good. Uh, Eternal Shroud. Health bonus decreased from plus 300 to 250. A little bit of nerf. Gleepnir recipe cost decreased from 450 to 250. Oh, wow. That's actually just pretty good buff. Save 200 gold. Not too much in turbo, but pretty good. Strength bonus increased from plus 35 to 40. I, why do I remember like it being 40 at one point? So they just brought it back. That's good. No change in cost. That's good. Total costs on Heaven's Halberd. Heaven's Halberd. Total cost decreased from 3550 to 3500. Due to Sange change, or Sange, whatever. Evasion bonus increased from plus 20 to 25. Health region and lifesteal amp bonus increased from plus 20 to 25. Okay, so Heaven's Albert needs to be on certain heroes now. The evasion's really good, but that amp, Heaven's Halberd's gonna be pretty good on like Bristle, um, Necro, stuff like that. So keep an eye out for that item. Pretty good item now. Helm of the Overload. Or overload, overload. I was thinking of... <laughs> I saw the Kaya symbol. 
<laughs> God damn it, man. I saw the Kaya symbol. And I know that I said Kaya weird too, but I saw the Kaya symbol and I thought about Storm Spirit, so then it led me to Overload, but whatever. Helm of the Overlord. Recipe cost decreased from 775 to 300. Jesus. Okay, so they want you to buy that. That's just a buff. Kaya, recipe cost decreased from 600 to 550. Total cost decreased by 50. Spell lifesteal amplification bonus decreased from plus 24 to plus 20. Spell amp bonus increased from plus 8 to 10. Huh. Weird. But, okay. Kaya on Sanj. Total cost decreased from 4,100 to 4,000. Status resistance bonus increased from plus 20 to 25. Spell amp decreased from 30 to 25. Health region and lifesteal amp increased to plus 22, plus 25. Huh. The status resist on that is pretty gnarly. I see heroes like Spirit Breaker abusing the hell out of this now. Oh my god, they buffed Conda too? Holy hell, from 150. Recipe cost increased from 200 to 400. Total cost increased by 200. Magic resist bonus decreased from 25 to 20. Mage Slayer debuff damage per second increased from 20 to 25. Debuff duration decreased from 6 to 3. Ooh, okay. So now I understand that question that was in my chat the other day. I'm sorry about that. This is an Tatsukun. Sorry about that, my friend. I understand why you're asking now. Um, it, it's going to be viable in certain instances, I believe, just because the magic resist is pretty good and, and the stats are pretty good, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, so... Kind of viable. It did lose it. That, that debuff sucks. Like, that's 6 to 3. You need to have the attack speed to keep it on. It's not really like a boom. You got three seconds to burn them if you don't use another ability. Then it's kind of like a Silver's Edge type deal. That's not. It's not too bad, but it is kind of gnarly. I see what you mean. Now, certain scenarios, I would get it. Like if it's a magic heavy team and you're a carry, the stats alone will carry you through it. And then if you, you know, are playing like a Slark or something, you, you're definitely gonna have the attack speed to keep up with the debuff. It's not really gonna be that big of a change. Twenty five to twenty sucks, but you ain't gonna see no Slark rocking that. Uh. The shroud or whatever that ain't gonna happen so certain good certain heroes it'll be good i mean kind of minimize that a little too much but mana style total cost decrease from 46 to 45 50 okay whatever meteor hammer recipe cost decrease from six to four total cost decrease by 250 or 350 yeah wait 250 yeah i was right the first time recipe cost decrease from eight to six Projectile speed increased from 1,100 to 1,800. Wow, that's a huge change. So that's pretty good for, for anybody now. It's not just really viable in melees because that's easily counterable. Total cost decreased from 900 to 875 on orb. Good for early game turbos. That's got a little bit better. Recipe cost decreased. Total cost decreased. So orchid's a little bit more viable if you don't want to go into Bloodthorn because the change is there. Parasma now requires a 400 gold recipe. Total cost increased by that 400. And the intelligence bonus decreased. Okay, that's like a garbage item now. Yeah, that's not even... That's that's not worth it. That's really expensive. 6k is a lot. That's a lot for an item that's just nerfed. Huh. Maybe. I don't know. I guess viable if you like it. Evasion bonus increased from 15 to 20. That's pretty cool, but the 20 is just because of the talisman. Uh, Revenant Spooch. Phantom Province mana cost decreased from 75 to 50. Phantom Province no longer consumes mana for attacks generated by abilities. That's pretty good. That's just an all-around buff. Sanche. Recipe cost decreased. Bonus increased from 12 to 16. So, pretty good. Total cost decreased. Stains resist... Stains? <laughs> Status resistance bonus increase. My mind's melting from reading so quickly. Plus 20% to plus 25% health region lifesteal amp increase to 22 to 25. So we kind of read about that earlier with the Kaya. But, yeah. Shiva's cost increase from 17 to 2050. Total cost increase by, what is that, 350? 250? 
350. So that's 350, yeah, whatever. Armor bonus decreased from 16 to 5, or 15. All attributes bonus decreased from plus 6 to 5. Health region bonus decreased from plus 6 to 5. So it just got like a minimal nerf, but a really bad gold nerf. I think it's still viable due to what it does. But, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Veil of Discord, all attributes bonus decreased. Oh, that was red in the she was. Vladimir's offering now provides plus two armor, now provides plus 0.75 mana regen. Vladimir's aura bonus mana regen decreased from 1.75 to 1. Wait, what? Oh, so it just provides it to you instead of being an order. An aura? An order? An aura. Vladimir's aura bonus armor decreased from 4 to 2. Oh, so it just gives it to you. It's not really an aura item, it's more for you now. That's whatever. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't buy it. I haven't bought it in like years. I don't, I don't know. Armor bonus decreased from plus two, four to plus 1.75, 3.5. Wow. Pretty gnarly, but you only buy it just to have a little bit of bonus damage early for turbo anyway. So this decrease, whatever. Total cost decrease. Yes. And then a uh, amp was changed. Decre oh, spell lifesteal amp was decreased from 30 to 25. So that's a pretty big nerf, but. Not really a big deal. It's only bought on certain heroes anyway. Neutral item changes. I guess we'll go through... What the... F I am not going through that. What the hell? <laughs> but uh, Arcane Ring. Intelligence bonus decreased from plus 7 to 6. Still good because of the, the... Whatever, the active. Health bonus decreased from plus 75 to 50. Again, the spell lamp and mana cost is pretty good still. All attributes bonus decrease from plus four to plus three. I never really get this unless I'm playing like a hero like Pudge or something. Something that gets hit a lot and can live through the, the getting beat. Like, can live through the beat down enough for that region to actually damn matter. But I do find that certain junglers benefit from it as well. But whatever. Health region bonus decrease from plus five to plus two. Wow. Cooldown increase from five to eight. Okay, so that's just dog shit. It was a nice little 100 thing, but now it's dog shit. Trusty Shovel health bonus increased from plus 75 to 90, so supports get a little bit of a buff there. Bull Whip Hell, health region, excuse me, bonus decreased from plus 3 to 2.75. Region decreased from 2.5 to 2, and Whip Cast no longer interrupts movement. So that's a buff. This item annoyed the shit out of me whenever I used it and had to move. But that's pretty cool. I don't, this, this is, this is poop. This specifically is poop, but this is okay. This is poop. It's probably more of a supporty item now, but I guess it always was. I don't know. I don't get whipped often enough. Specialist array, all attributes bonus decrease from plus seven to plus six. Eh, not bad enough to take it out, but kind of poop. Armor bonus increase from plus six to eight. That's cool. You get a lot of armor from that item now. That's an axe item. Strength bonus decreased from plus 35 to plus 30. Movement speed bonus decreased from plus 50 to plus 45. It's still like the go-to for certain strength heroes, but that is just a full nerf. Magic lamp. Health bonus increased from plus 300 to plus 500. Wow. And rejuvenate heal increased from 1k to 1250. Damn. That's a tier 1 item now. That's big. Unwavering condition. Unwavering max health increase from 1500 to 1800. So they, they want more people to get it. They, they made it a little bit more enticing. Oh, God damn it. That's funny. All right, neutral changes. Yeah, there you go. There, there you go. <laughs> Whatever. All right, now this. Oof. A lot of changes here. Let's get into them. All right, Abaddon. Cooldown increase on his ult to 60 from 50 in the last stage so 10 all around actually good you bastard arc warden base strength decreased from 22 to 20 strength gain decreased from 2.6 to 2.4 okay so a little bit of nerf there duration decreased from 45 to 16 holy mother of god wow that is that is crazy that is a crazy change. Okay. That is a very welcome change. This little, like, wannabe techies. Bat Rider Flame Break. Radius decreased. Whatever. Reality Rift. Pull Distance increased by 50 all the way around. Not bad. Tiny buff. Not really played anyway. Now it has a mana cost of 75. 
Level 10 talent, damage decreased from 225 to 175. Okay, so he got a little bit of a nerf. Death Prophet, active movement bonus decreased from 8, 12, 16 to 4, 8, 12. 4, 8, 12. Wow. 4% is gnarly. Okay, so Death Prophet is not, not meta anymore. Doom, Scorched Earth, bonus move speed decreased by 1% all the way around. Doom duration decreased by four seconds two seconds and then it's the same so now instead of just 16 flat it actually has a like um i guess a level up kind of thing level 10 talent scorched earth damage decreased from 15 to 12. okay so doom doom a little bit of nerfies dragon knight elder dragon form frost breath movement slow decreased from 0, 0, 40, 60 to 0, 0, 30, 45. wow that's that's huge frost breath uh, frost breath attack slow decrease from 0, 0, 0040 60 to 0, 0, 0030 45. Wow. Aghanim Scepter Black Dragon resistance decrease from 25 to 20. That's gnarly. He just got nerfed to shit. Wow. All right. Ember Spirit mana cost increase from 60 to 65. That's mediocre. Cast range decrease from 600 to 450, 500, 550, 600 for Malifos. So it's not really a viable first blood type skill anymore. You got to be relatively close to someone. Runes are going to be harder fights for him. I don't know. I don't really rock that. I go for the Mongo game ending black holes. So, What do you want, C80? What do you want, old lady? Uh, faceless Void. Base armor decreased by one. Cooldown progression slow decreased from 60 to 30, 40, 50, 60. So just like Doom, it's got a progression now. Time lock no longer has a bonus duration against creeps. That's that's whatever. I guess it's kind of cool early, but that's whatever. Level 15 talent time lock damage decreased from 40 to 30. Level 20 talent attack speed during chrono decreased from 95 to 80. Wow. So void got pretty big nerfs, but they're more like early game nerfs from what I'm looking at more than anything. This is rough, but at that point in the game for turbo, you got quite a bit of items. It's it's that's gonna be negligible. Um, a corn, a, a corn, <laughs> hoodwink, a corn shot. Slow duration decrease from 0.45 to 0.35. Again, semi mediocre. Damage per explosion increased from 9, 16, 23, 30 to 10, 18. So one, two, three, four. Is that what they did? Yeah. Okay. Activation mana cost decreased from 70 to 50, 60, 70. Wow. So his, that's his ult, right? Yeah. His ult is, huh. His ult is a lot more viable early, and then it becomes the same later. So he's gonna, he's he's back. I think that's gonna be a gnarly turbo. Yeah, this is a turbo hero now. Get ready to see Lashrak more often once people find out about that. That's pretty good for going into early into mid, which is where he shines the most, in my opinion. Late game, he he becomes a powerhouse. Yeah, but if you put him against certain carries, they'll just drop him. It doesn't matter. Um. He has a lot of skills to be anti pa type deal, but this is going to make him really hard to deal with early, especially with push and with the early game ganks now. So, look for Lashrak. Good hero for this patch. Butthole. But, yeah. Lion, Earth Spike, cooldown increased from 11, 14, 13, 12, 11. So, again, progressive. Movement slow, bonus decrease from 20 to 15. So, five, five down on each rank. Shard resistance decreased from 80 to 60. Big nerf. Bonus break distance decreased from 400 to huge nerf. Shard now breaks on secondary targets if Lion loses vision. Oh wow, he just got nerfed to hell. This used to be a way for him to survive everything. I blame Dota Cinema for this nerf because that one clip they have of him constantly doing it and living probably is why this is here. All right. Lone Druid, Summon Spirit Bear. Move speed decreased pretty heavily. Oh no, only by 10. Oh wait, 40 at level 1. 40, 30, 20, 10, is that what it is? Oh yeah, that's how it is, okay. Wow, that's crazy. Cooldown increased from 120 to 150, 140, 130, 120. Wow, so it is super punishing to lose the bear early now. Holy god. Bear is now properly affected by Monkey King's Jinku Mastery. You can get stacks off the bear? Holy Admiral Bulldog, dude. He's in the trenches now. That hero puddle is now a hero teardrop. <laughs> That's rough. Good luck on your ranked journey, my friend. Because that is crazy. 
Magnus, Skewer, fixed interactions between Skewer and other force movement abilities, Primal Beast Pulverize, causing Skewer to deal damage relative to the distance between the target and the center of the map. Wait, what? What the hell? Weird. But, um, level 15 talent skewer cooldown reduction decreased from 7 to 5. 20 talent skewer range decreased from 375 to 275. Wow, Magnus got big ass nerfs. So, yeah, I don't know what this is about. Huh. It just seems like a bug fix, but that, I, I never saw that interaction or what I believe I'm reading. I don't know. Whatever. It's fixed now, so who cares? Meepo, dig, max health restore decreased from 35 to 25. Nice. Good. Stats gained from other Meepos decreased from 50 to 40. Also good, but not good enough, I think, that he's still going to be a problem if someone's good at him. But that kind of goes for any hero, but he's more of a problem than most if people are good at him. Uh, base damage decreased by 3. W wait, what? Sprout damage per second rescaled from 28, 40, 52, 64 to 25, 40, 55, 70. What the f- Down 3. Even. Down 3. Or up 3. And then up 6. Weird, okay. Damage aura no longer lingers for 0.5 after leaving. Okay, that's also a nerf, but good for- me, I don't like going against him. Cooldown increased from 60, 50, 40, 30 to 75, 60, 45, 30. Wow. Holy crap. Bulldog. You're going to have to play Viper, my man. Viper or Doom. And Doom got nerfed too. If I remember correctly. I believe so. Omni Knight. Now correctly nullifies pure damage similar to other sources of debuff immunity. Okay. Outworld Destroyer. Aghanim Scepter max mana as damage barrier decreased from 75 to 70. That is that is mediocre. That's nothing. Agility gain increased from 3.2 to 3.4. Cast range increased. Oh, Jesus. From 550 to 700. 750 to 850. You can, f you can get last hits from the tower. No. Oh, no. My homeboy. Slark. Pounce cooldown increased by two seconds all across the board. My fish. Stop hurting my fish, you jerks. Base strength increased from 16 to 18. Okay. Cooldown decreased from 25, 22 to 23, 20, 17, 14. So down two on each. Yeah. yeah I'm okay, so little little buff on Terrorblade. Probably see him more just because he's a carry that hasn't been played in a while. At least in the turbo trenches. Uh, Timber Saw, Flamethrower, damage per second decreased from 80 to 70. Level 15, Talent Whirling, Death Stat, loss decreased from 3 to plus 2.5. So a little little nerf for Timber, too. Vengeful Spirit, Magic Missile, cooldown increased from 15, 13, 11, 9 to 16, 14, 12, 10. So what is that, one on each? Yeah, one on each. Damage decreased from 85, 100 to 60, 80, 100, 120. So basically, like... Yeah, just a little nerf on Vengeful. Not as powerful. Really, really weak early, though, because of that. That's more of a stun than anything now. It doesn't do enough damage to be viable as, like, a kill. Maybe, obviously. Anything can work, but you understand my drift. Viper, Nether Toxin, max DPS decreased from 50, 75, 100, 125 to 35, 65, 95, 125. So pretty big nerf for early game again. Corrosive skin, max range radius decreased from 1400 to 1200. A little bit of a nerf. So Viper got nerfed as well. This is kind of gnarly. Kind of sucks, but I've noticed it's not that bad. But with the fucking evasion change on Butterfly, this is probably going to be a problem for Witch Doctor players. Um, especially as more people catch wind of that Halberd being 25%. That, that's nutty. Imagine a, a Halberd on a hero that could also use a butterfly, like Axe for instance, or even dodges. I, I, it used to be like this, I don't know if it still does, but dodges used to count towards his spin. So, or before when it was RNG re related, dodges would still count for the, you know, the chance to spin. So if that is the case, then Axes are just gonna be untouchable by Witch Doctors at that point. Cause Halberd works on them, it's, it's good, it's a good item. So, but anyway, Aghanim Scepter no longer grants True Strike, if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Well, there you go. There's 7.35C um, for Turbo. Some things are viable changes. Other, most of the things are just kind of whatever. Certain heroes were nerfed into Oblivion. But, uh, again, just switch through sides and you can... Or not sides, but 
switch through positions in the video and figure out what I have to say because this is all from a turbo standpoint. I don't play any, any other mode. So what I say is what I see, what I use, and what I think people would use if they enjoy turbo as well. So that's it for me. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video and the, the go over of everything. I appreciate you and hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, because it really helps me out. I'm really trying to make it. Appreciate you guys. Take it easy.